global climate change is now a worldwide issue. In order to keep sustainable development, the portion of renewable energy in Taiwan will reach 20% in 2025. During the phase of energy transition, offshore wind power certainly plays a critical role. Taiwan in the Lian Fong Dian's plan, is very active and has a very good wind farm system. It can give the wind industry to see how the future of the wind farm will be. So, we chose to invest in Taiwan. Ports are precisely the main infrastructure for offshore wind power. No matter if it's underwater foundation or components above water such as tower, nacelle or blades, the logistic activities are within ports area. Taiwan International Ports Corporation is in charge of seven international commercial harbors and is entrusted to manage two domestic harbors. TIPC participates vigorously in mapping out the future of offshore wind industry. Currently, TIPC has developed four main pillars for offshore wind power, which are turbine pre-assembly base, localized manufacturing area, operation and maintenance service, and talent training center. Port of Taichung provides the function for turbine pre-assembly. Port of Anping is for storage and transshipment of foundation. Port of Taichung is the nearest international commercial port to offshore wind farms. TIPC designates Taichung Port the home port for turbine pre-assembly and working vessels in Taiwan. It allows developers to place the upper structure of the wind turbine, the underwater foundation and other sizable assembly parts. The wharves number 2, number 5A, number 5B, number 36, number 107 in Port of Taichung are leased in accordance with the wind farm development schedule to Formosa Wind Power Company Limited. Yunung Wind Power Company Limited, Formosa 2 Wind Power Company Limited, Taiwan Power Company, Orsted Taiwan Limited, Copenhagen Infrastructure Partners, China Steel Power Corporation, and Hailong Offshore Wind Farm Project. Taichung Gang is Taiwan's most fertile sea gang. Its territory is very good. Its depth is very wide. Its waters are very broad. 它的码头基础建设目前呢是速度非常的快，所以众多这些的考量的因素，成就了台中港可以成为整个离岸风电的枢纽港。台中港务公司呢，其实做了相当的努力来做呃呃码头的一个增建以及改建。那这里面包含就是说，它包含重建的一个承载力的提升，还有一个海床承载力的提升。呃，来符合这个呃风电的呃顶升船的一个需求，那这其实呃提供一个相当好的一个硬体的设施。According to foundation storage requirements, TIPC also offers wharf number、no. ten of Anping Port, along with the hinterland of wharfs number、no. eleven and number、no. twelve. For localized manufacturing areas. Port of Taipei, Port of Taichung, and Port of Kaohsiung have successfully invited wind power manufacturers to be stationed here. The current companies that have stationed in Industrial Zone 2 in the Port of Taichung include Yongguan, Tianli, Century Huaxing Wind Energy, Siemens Gamesa. Additionally, Fortune Electric and CS Wind set up nacelle and tower manufacturing site in Industrial Zone 3 and Port Development Zone. These components manufactured in Taichung Port including hubs, blades, towers, transition pieces, pin piles nearly make up the whole upper structure of a turbine. The port of Taichung has newly built number 106 heavy-loaded wharf 
for import and export of these turbine components. CIP, we are your most localized international company. We are the most localized international company. So, CIP's Zhang Fang Sea Dock and our partnership with Zhong Gang Hezi's Zhong Neng Fong Chan, these two Fong Chan are the most efficient and most efficient Fong Chan. 我们在台中港的投资，我们底下的这个风机供应商 Vestas， 它在台中港跟天利投资了将近四十公顷的叶片厂，然后呢，同时我们也有这个永冠的铸件厂，我们有华晨电机的机舱组装厂，当然还有我们世纪化新的钢构厂，所以整整在台中港就有超过八十公顷。的开发案正在台中港如火如荼的发生，所以这也是一个从风场开发到创造本土产业链非常好的例子。The active deployment of localized manufacturing is increasing more job opportunities and is attracting more talents to join in this industry. Well, I've I've been here almost a year uh, now, and and I would say I'm I'm very positively surprised about the talent uh, here in Taiwan. People are very highly educated. Uh, they have uh, a desire to really do a good job. 公司从去年十一月开始就派了大概将近十位的台湾的员工到丹麦去做在地的工作的一个学习。我们开始就找更多的现场的呃技师进来工作。Except the turbines' upper structure that's manufactured in Taichung Port, Century Wind Power Company Limited leases Wharf Number S09 and its hinterland to manufacture the underwater foundation, providing the production, assembly, and storage of jackets, monopiles, pin piles. Transition pieces and related devices for offshore wind power. We chose Taipei Gang because, first, Taipei Gang's surrounding environment is very good. Second, it's very small here. And second, it's very difficult to find other ports that have the capacity to 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 have the capacity. 那我们来布置这个水下基础的生产呢，是啊非常方便的。In Port of Gaosheng, the land around the wharves are rented separately by local maritime engineering and machinery plants, such as Mingrongyuan, CSBC, and CTCI, to produce and to stack up pin piles and transition pieces. Via the localization manufacturing bases around the ports from north to south, the capabilities of constructing wind turbines and its related supply chain could be well nourished and established in Taiwan. In the aspect of O and M, the operation performance of every wind turbine, namely power generation efficiency, has direct effect on whether the wind farm can gain the best energy output, which is the key deciding factor whether a wind farm is successful. Thus, keeping the turbines work at full capacity through monitoring and maintenance is crucial. Therefore, TIPC sets up O&M bases in Port of Taichung and Port of Budai for providing services for wind farm developers. Gangkou的一个规划，对于风场的业者来讲是至关重要的，因为风场并不只是只有建造的这两年的期间，而更多的是在生命周期，也就是风场能够继续运作的二十到二十五年内，有一个运维的基地。那这个运维基地，我们就
to provide comprehensive and multifunctional O&M services for wind farm companies, such as providing a warehouse for storage of wind turbine spare parts, an open yard, a standby room for personnel, a commercial office, a monitoring center, vessel maintenance and repair base, machinery and equipment that includes container cranes and forklifts, and so forth. TIPM also purchased 100% locally manufactured vessels, including high horsepower tugboats, large barges, and crew transfer vessels, CTV. In Port of Budai, wharves, the water areas, open yards, warehouses and offices are provided to wind farm developers. Currently, it is being rented by Yunung Wind Power Company Limited. Budai Gang is actually close to our farm recently. We use the Budai Gang to build the train station. That includes our train office and the office is set up there. To reduce our CTV equipment, we also have a train station. Besides offshore wind industry localization, local personnel training is another key item. To support the safety and skill training requirements of wind farm workers, TIPC has worked with the industry to establish a wind power training center in Taichung Port by means of a private joint venture named Taiwan International Wind Power Training Corporation Limited. TIWTC. TIWTC sets up the first local talent training center in Taiwan and introduces international wind energy training courses into Taiwan. TIWTC keeps wind training know-how successfully in Taiwan. Fortuny ended to assist the offshore wind industry to deal with the transportation of components within the harbor area, Taiwan International Ports Heavy Machinery Corporation Limited, PIPH, was set up providing heavy lifting and transportation service. Mammut and TIPH are uh, offering uh, transport services in the port of uh, Taichung. At the, this is our starting ground. And with transport solutions, you should think that we always start with engineering. So we take a look at the project from A to Z at the beginning, and then based on the outcome of the engineering, we will come up with a technical solution based on anything that we have in our toolbox. And this could be like uh, specialist heavy lift trailers, this could be large cranes, it could be a barge with a ballasting system, it could be jacking, skidding, weighing. Options are endless. Um, we have a lot of tools in the global toolbox and we can bring any solution to Taiwan that is necessary to fulfill a project. Other than the current core services, the development strategy and goal of TIPC is to improve port utilization and increase port sustainability via diversified business. As a supplier of offshore wind industry, TIPC will continue to understand the needs of developers as well as manufacturers, turning from a landlord port perspective to an operating port perspective. TIPC expects to provide quality port infrastructure and related wind power businesses devote ourselves to the upcoming renewable energy world.